Hello and welcome, my name is Emily, and today we're going to be playing a game called Fran Bo. This is actually a demo for the full game that just got released, I think, three days ago on Steam if you want to check it out. So this game is a creepy psychological adventure game sort of thing, um, and the main character is a girl who has a mental disorder. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what this game is all about. I don't- I know virtually nothing about it, I just found it. Okay, everything's fine, it feels like heaven. I feel like things are gonna go to shit. <laughs> I see my parents. They look happy. He's, does he not have a- I'm assuming that's a collar thing there, but it looks like he just got cut off. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's the kitty! It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark is the deepest night. Is this cat gonna also go to shit? Is everything just gonna go to shit? <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight, my best friend. It's a little sad that you only have the one friend. My only friend. I was just about to say, that's sad that you only have this one best friend. And it's a cat. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace, too. Why does she look exactly the same as the mother? <laughs> I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. That's good. Always good to have a good babysitter. We're having so much fun. Kitty's drinking milk, you know, we're eating spaghetti. It's all good. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Okay, so we skipped from Friday to Monday. But something feels real bad. See, I knew it would, I knew it would go to shit at some point. There's a creepy goat guy. A strange creature outside my window. Is he a goat with a top hat? Because that's what I'm seeing. I don't like it, it scares me. I mean, goats are pretty benign creatures, but that looks a little, freak a little freaky. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom screaming. Ugh. <laughs> um, I want to know what's wrong. I don't want to know what's wrong. Let's just not find out. Let's just know. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Is it the monster in the room? I go closer. And then it eats me! And closer. And somebody died. Mom? Dad? Was it on Grace? Did Aunt Grace kill everybody? <laughs> God damn it, Aunt Grace! <laughs> Please don't. Oh, why are you crying blood? Oh, oh, there's some gore in here. Mommy, Daddy. I'm gonna put a, a warning at the beginning of this. There's a lot of blood. There's blood everywhere. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> oh, good. The house is crying blood now, too. Oh, oh, excellent. Oh, great. The kitty is sleeping on me. Or just chilling. I don't know. What are you doing, kitty? It's being, it's protecting me from whatever. Are you leaving me? I'm not dead. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm sleeping. This is just kind of creepy that there's hooded figures just taking me. You know what? I'm not gonna question. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Was it all a dream? One, two, three. Three. <laughs> Fran, how do you feel? Oh, this is such a strange art style. I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. Oh, I just have to click it. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Oh, sorry. I should be doing a separate voice for him. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Yes. <laughs> my parents are dead. Recovery, don't you- Oh, that's me. Repa recovery, don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Better than let me go. That would be better. I'm getting so angry. I'm making her so angry. You should not tell me how to do my job. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? I'm still angry. <laughs> See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Aunt Grace, buy me some. So she, did she kill everyone, though? Because I'm... Oh, why is my hand, like, cut off? This was Mother's Purse. Oh, great. Just depress your niece even more. <laughs> Open it. There's something inside. What is it? What? Why did I... Yeah. I can't use this. Maybe I should examine it. Okay, got it. 
Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects <laughs> and combine them with other things. Ooh, surely this isn't telling me how to play the game. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it uh, give it, and all the other things you found find a good use. I can't speak today. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you're out of control, young lady! <laughs> can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. No more medicine! Mm. I don't want to change my minute It's got to do, darn it. It would make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Nurse, come, come here. Give me the, the medicine. Anything new today? Oh, anything new today, Dr. Dern? I don't know why everyone's a British and I'm not, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing actually the same visions as before. Oh, I see. Air yeah, friend, take your medicine. <laughs> why is everyone British? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god, I didn't read that. We don't have something. I took it. Now what do I do? I don't feel good. I'm gonna fall over. Okay then. Oh my god. <laughs> there was bits of people flying everywhere. Oh no, take her back to her room and yes, don't let her ever take this ever again! Please don't let me ever take that ever again, oh my god. What was that? I don't wanna know! Ugh. Beware, Franbo! <laughs> Evidently that's how he talks. If you leave the house of madness... <laughs> I'm, an old, I'm an old man! I will hunt you down! Get you <laughs> and bring you back to insanity. I'm sorry. I should be. Oh, oh! I cried some blood. I should actually be taking this seriously because it's a creepy adventure, or whatever. But nah, friend, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. Is the cat telling me this? What's going on? I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Who is speaking this to me? I love you. It must be my kitty. My kitty is speaking to me. That's not a sign of insanity. Totally sane. My cat talks to me all the, all the time. Every day. Always. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Does that mean she didn't take any more medicine? Because, yeah, I don't think you should. Ever again. Oh good, there's religious symbols and a clown. That reminds me of the clown from um, The Sims 1. Where it's the, oh, what, I don't even know. The social, it's like the social bunny but with the clown. The sad clown! That's what it was. Um... I'm still here, hideous place. I have to get out of here. Okay, then just run out the window. Oh, this is weird. I can look left and, and right, but I have to click the eyeball to do that. <laughs> Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Yeah, I worried about that too. Or I worry about that when I have stuff over my head in my bed. Red and tiny and you, you are hiding from me. What? I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Yeah, this is not a good sign. I hate the monster. Yeah, um, if your cat is talking to you, I have some bad news. Some bad news. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Find the key! Uh, don't talk to the sad clown ever. <laughs> I will get your nose. I will get it. <laughs> Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? No, he's a sad clown. Get it straight. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. I don't seem that sad to be here. I don't know. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Well, let's just use this on the thingy. Let's click it. I'm not sure what to do with this. God damn it. I thought you could just shimmy it in there. Well, fine. Examine it. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. I don't know what I can do with that yet. We'll find out. It's kind of like a point and click now that I think about it. It is a point and click now that I think about it. I didn't even realize. Uh, I wasn't reading that. I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay, fine, I will. Hello, child who seems to have some real problems here. Hey, hello, Phil. Oh, look, I curtsied. So sweet of me. Hello. <laughs> know any way out? You do know the way out, right? Totally. There are many ways out. Uh, everything's locked. 
Yes, but you know that everything's locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. What do you mean? The office, what do you mean? Tell me straight forward. I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Tell me anyway! Who? The creepy monster bro. Him. The creepy monster bro. Don't point! Oh my god! Hi there, buddy! Hey! Hey there, friend! All the doors are closed. You're a prisoner of my games and nobody will help you escape. I keep doing this thing where I'm not reading it and then I remember that I didn't read it so I have to think about what I said- or what was said at the bottom. Leave me alone, I hate you! See it happen again. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Oh, they said. I think your parents are dead. I'm pretty sure I read that. No, I won't let that monster stab me. Okay. I hope somebody loves you. Uh, I hope Phil loves you over here. A secret box! <sighs> Examine. A little box. It's open. open. Open it. A key! That will certainly open something. <laughs> I still don't know what the hook is for, though. Ah, I did the wrong thing. Use it, use it! Tiny key. Yes, yes, I got it! And there's something inside! It's a pin and a picture of my family. I still don't know which one is Aunt Grace and which is the mother, because they look identical. Aunt- no, Aunt Grace, mother. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, examine this. My hair clip, I should give it a good use. Use it to pry open another door later. Use it to jiggle the lock. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, Mr. Wooden Horse, are you having a good time? You can talk to all the little toys. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Till I took an arrow to the knee. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Paranoid, yeah, not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment was much. Uh, oh my god, I can't talk today! Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. He's eight. He's eight years old. That's so sad. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Well, aren't you just a little pessimistic? Of course it's locked, all right, let's go. Hello, nursey, just let's have a chat, you and me. Oh, friend, you're awake, good. How long was I asleep? For 20 years. <laughs> Three days, maybe. Uh, was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine, that's why you're not taking it anymore. Something happened. Oh, I forgot something happened. What are you talking about? No, it didn't. Go back to bed, child. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Uh, broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Alrighty. Will do. Should I wait till you... Okay. I see it was an accident. I did not mean to do it. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? <laughs> what's a hook? Um, what's a hook? <laughs> well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You're something something, because I did not read that. Where did she go? I wanted to give her the hook. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I do it myself? Ah, won't work. Why not? Just stick it there. I, I left her. I, she's gone. I could have used the hook with her. Oh, no. I just wanted to be cheeky. Just had to be cheeky. What is this? Violent trauma can have a great impact on children totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, such some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia, like the little Phil eight-year-old has. Drawing of the brain. Yes, that's exactly how it looks. Take the band aid. Ooh, I'll take these patches to stop blood. Cause when are you when am I gonna be bleeding? You don't say you to tea. You is there tea tea is delicious. You is not delicious. Oh god. Patient behavior description. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her, and when she would come... Oh, and... 
and when she would come out and play. <laughs> you can tell I have bad handwriting because I can read the terrible handwriting. Gladys something, though, I don't know that. Friend, ba or Bo Dogenheit? Is that what that says? <laughs> uh, Duotine 8H. I don't know what that means. Bad. It was something bad. So I don't remember doing anything. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels. Towels! I don't need no stinking towels! Uh, I don't think I need any of this. Well, fine. Can I... I wanted to ride it for fun. My legs are just fine. Well, lottie freaking da. Some people's legs aren't fine. Maybe you should feel a little more grateful. Okay. Uh, I think I missed my chance with the nurse. She left me. She went away. Do you know anything else, buddy? Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. I don't know where the office is. Is this the office? That's a tiny little office and that's an office. I can look out the window. I didn't even think to. Why didn't I think to do that? That's a high security facility. Tower defense. We have you for a crazy person called Fran. Have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Hmm. I guess it, that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Well, where is that nurse? I'll look at the other windows. What else you got for me? Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Mmm, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me at all. I can't see through this window. Gosh, well, fine. I was just testing. Why is this one boarded? Not so easy to see through this. Is this that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I didn't actually think about that before, but you're probably right. I don't want to. I just woke up. Well, gosh, you're such a pain in my butt. I don't know where you want to go then. You big pain in the patoot. Wait, can I jiggle the lock here? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Hook. Ah, the shape's not right. Well, crap. Band-aids? I won't even try to- God damn it! Wow, I didn't even think to open that drawer. That's right there. <laughs> I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I was gonna say kind of keep it for self-defense, but maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's see. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Why would you want to crack the code? Hide. I got it. H is eight. I remember that. H is eight. Okay, eight, nine, four, five. Got it. Eight, nine, four, five. Ah, I've screwed up. <laughs> Eight, nine, four, five. Ta-da! The pills! Katie told me this would help me. Probably not going to, though. Yeah, really not going to. It was not me, and there's a creepy face. Oh boy, let's look at everything. Oh, wonderful. Hey, there's a bunch of people with my head. Oh, is that my head? Yeah, it is. Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. All right, let's leave then. It was not me. Why is there a dead bunny? Oh, were you sleeping, sweet bunny? No, you're not. You're dead. You're very, very dead. Where'd the clown go? He probably murdered everyone. It was not me. Who did it? I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, good! Hello, Miss Nurse. You are super dead. Empty bottle, empty glass, nothing useful. Watch your step. What are you, sir? Get out, creepy creature. Eh, it's a bunny. No, it's not a bunny. That's a mouse. Big mouse. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Yeah, totally. Everything's fine. How's Phil? Oh, Phil is really bad. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. To happiness that way you can see I can see what's going on behind the scenes here hello oh no you're head. so I guess I'll go down the stairs can I stop taking the pills and just move my bed no absolutely not you can't tell her that but she has to know she can't keep me away from her you can't keep me water the reason is more than clear grace no, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. I'll say, good God, everything is bloody. 
Oh boy, it's a dead fox now too. Oh, Grant. Was that real? Oh dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Can we stop taking these pills? Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. You're... You're crying the blood there. Oh dear, red blood. Tiny, tiny for me. Find him. Who's him? Oh goodness gracious. Can we go out this door yet? Nope. <sighs> Are you having a good time? Because I'm not. That's enough pills for today. Can I push the bed aside then? Because that's obviously an escape route. No, that's an escape route. I just, I don't want to. I just woke up. You're not paying attention. I'm wondering if I need to find something while I'm on the pills. Go for it. Yeah. There's a little sluggy slug down there. Does the nurse have something on her? There we go. Knitting needle. Thought there was something. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna combine those two. Fantastic, my own very special key. Awesome. Okay, time to not have pills anymore, because that's creepy. <laughs> Yay, we did it! We found the way out. Excellent work, me. Us. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes, my own very own handmade special key. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to click on the door. Yes, to happiness! That's just like that wall said. I could go pee. I could go see what's going on over here. Hello, child. How come your door isn't locked? Excuse me. Hello. You see them, you do, right? Probably, yes. <laughs> what? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. Yep, I see those. The shadows. Yes. Uh-huh, I can't see them, but I know that they are there. You know what they are? Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. What are they? <laughs> Tell me, please. They're dead people. You like to draw? I love to draw. That's off topic. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadow. It's crayon. I have a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad now. Draw a cat if you don't have one. That doesn't make up for it. I better keep looking for my cat then. Your cat's in danger. The shadows took him. I know. Who told you that? <laughs> How do you know, child? The one that follows me. Bye! And then she has a creepy smile on her face afterwards. Bye! <laughs> the bed is very pink. There's a happy clown here. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. I, I don't really want to look here with the pills. A red puppet and a serpent. Excellent. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Is there an old lady here? On the chair? Let's find out. No. Oh, she is really not doing so good there why do you look like a fabric doll good question you can see that's a creepy little monster you got there where is there a dead person in your toy trunk i don't want to touch it it's the clown from the painting oh good tiny tiny hands all over you eating your soul yay even the purest of things die in this place woohoo all righty that's enough out of you I just gotta leave. Um, why are we peeking at someone peeing? <laughs> the throne is empty. I didn't realize anyone could see me pooping gross. <laughs> I can and will hold it. <laughs> I feel you. Oh, hi there. Um, um, uh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. <laughs> you, you left it open. <laughs> I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. <laughs> mm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Well, fine. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Yes, well, I can't do it now because I've been playing for so long. <laughs> so, this has been the demo for um, Fran Bo. Uh, if you guys want me to play the rest of it, then just let me know. But uh, there, there's also the full game that is available on Steam now. So if you guys want to play for yourselves, then feel free to check it out. I'll put it down in the description below, the link for it. Um, it's really creepy. It's a very creepy game. I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> it. It is what it is. I'm not usually one for uh, creepy psychological horror games, but it's interesting so far. If not, you know, disturbing. So <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <coughs>
<coughs> Sorry, I needed to start over. I was sucking really bad. <laughs> Where are you taking me, you weird, weird man? What? No! Franbo, why are you such a creepy child? I don't like- no. I don't like it. You stop that right now. 